Hi, Barbara Friedberg here. Today, we're going to be talking about personal capital and betterment, two of the most popular robo-advisors. But actually, they're more than just robo-advisors. They each actually have four different, they each have two different products, and we're going to be discussing them all, comparing, comparing, contrasting. So at the end of this video, you're going to be able to decide which of these robo-advisors is right for you and where you want to put your money. But we do have a free bonus for you, and this is for everyone, because one of personal finances offers is completely free, and everyone should take advantage of it. Personal Capital offers to all investors, savers, whatever, a free money management dashboard. After linking your accounts, and don't worry, it's safe, it's as safe as online banking, you will have a dashboard that looks like this. And what you will be able to see with that dashboard is a retirement planner, You'll be able to track and manage your money, budgeting, uncover hidden fees, and built-in investment intelligence. So you can compare your investment portfolio's allocation to the re recommended target allocation. This tool is amazing. I use it myself. So regardless of which robo-advisor you sign up with, you need to sign up for the free personal capital tools. And we will have a link below that you can use to go directly there. So beyond the free tools, we also will learn about personal capital advisors, which is an automated digital wealth manager that has everything you would need, but lower fees than traditional financial advisors. And we'll get into that in a minute. Now, I told you Betterment has two products as well. They have a digital robo-advisor, and then they have a premium version with more bells and whistles. So let's dig in. What are they? Okay. Personal capital is a free dashboard with reports and management, money management tools. And then personal capital has a whole suite of investment management advice. And it is a combination of an, an automated investment platform which manages your stocks and bond funds in accord with your risk tolerance and your goals in a very smart way. They have access to full-time certified financial planners over at Personal Capital, and they even offer more wealth management tools for those of you that are a little more affluent and might need tax and estate planning tools. On the other hand, Betterment is a digital financial advisor and a premium service actually quite similar to personal capital with access to certified financial planners as well. And with both options for Betterment, of course, you will get a goal-based investment manager. So you figure out what your goals are, whether it be safety net, car fund, retirement, college savings fund, you choose those goals. Then how it works is you take a quick quiz, you discuss what your risk tolerance is, when you need the money, what you want to use it for, and you will receive a beautifully designed investment portfolio. For the digital user, well, it's managed all online, but a cool thing is even if you don't opt for the, the Betterment Premium, at Betterment, you will get access to texting with financial advisors. So that is really, really cool. So here's an example of what your portfolio might look like at Betterment, 90% stocks, 
10% bonds, whatever fits with your goals and your risk tolerance. Great app. So let's get back to our comparison. Now, here's where we have some differences. For Betterment Digital, which is the all digital package, which gives you option to text with financial advisors your questions, but no conversations with financial advisors for the Betterment Digital. No minimum investment amount for the digital. For the Betterment Premium, the minimum is $100,000. Personal capital, there is no minimum amount for free tools. And this is just to manage your existing portfolio. It is not a robo-advisor, but a whole slate of free investment and money management tools. Think of Mint on steroids. And then similar to Betterment, personal capital also requires a $100,000 minimum investment. So if you're looking for a robo-advisor, a digital financial manager, and you have less than a hundred thousand dollars, you'll want to choose the Betterment robo-advisor. Let's drill down into the fees now. So the digital advisor for Betterment charges 0.25% of the amount of money managed. So if they managed $100 for you, you would pay 25 cents a year to have that money managed. Now for the premium service that includes financial advisors, you will pay 0.40% of assets under management. And be aware that if you hire a traditional financial advisor, well, then you're going to be paying upwards of 1% for your investment management. So both of these are more reasonably priced managers than typical financial advisors. Now, this is for personal capital. There are no fees for the free investment manager. The premium service starts at 0.89% of assets under management, but goes down with the greater amount of money that it manages for you. The top features we've touched on. So we'll get into those a little more in depth later. Now, customer service is comparable uh, with, with personal capital. It is 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, email 24-7. With Betterment, you do get 9 to 6, Monday through Friday, Eastern time, email seven days a week. But with Betterment, you can text with financial advisors. So what is your money invested in? That's important. At Betterment, your, your investments are comprised of low-cost, commission-free exchange-traded funds. They're very well dis diversified, and the portfolios are really smartly designed. Personal capital for large accounts actually enables individual stock investing, but then they also have stock bond and alternative ETFs as well. Types of accounts are rather sim similar. Both have single and joint taxable brokerage accounts, all sorts of uh, retirement accounts, as well as trust accounts. Promotions, of course, at Personal Capital, you get your free investment management dashboard. At Betterment, there is a free promotion that you can access if you click on the link below where you get a certain amount of your money invested with no management fee for a period of time. So let's dig into some of the specific features so you can make a better decision between personal capital and betterment. Personal capital top features, you can see all of your financial accounts together in one place. Of course, we can't stop talking about their free retirement and financial tracking tools. Again, everyone sign up for those, they are free. Personal capital, you get 
human financial planners, certified financial planners with the advisor services, personal capital also offers socially responsible investing as well as unique sector approach to investment management. You get a complete financial plan and retirement plan and personal capital cash also has a high yield savings account. They are running a promotion now. So this is a $7.99 value. It's only a limited time where you get a free personalized financial plan if you do sign up through uh, our affiliate link below. And that is applicable only if you have $100,000 of money in your, um, you know, $100,000 in your own investment account. So let's dig into Betterment's top features, and then we will get to the final wrap-up comparison, and we will go over the pros and cons. Betterment goals-based investing overview. You could see that on the Betterment website where they allow you to pick what goals you're investing in. I love this feature of Betterment. Every single investor can text with financial advisors. I think that's a really big bonus, and I haven't seen that at any other robo-advisors. Now, the premium customers get access to human financial planners, but even if you are a Betterment digital customer, they do offer what is called a la carte financial planning packages. And so you pay a reasonable smallish amount of money and you have a limited couple of sessions or one session with a financial advisor to discuss specific issues. You might just want them to look at your entire financial plan. You might want to plan for retirement. You might want a session for college planning. So I like that you can go for the digital option, but you can add on a financial planning package when you need it. So that's kind of a fee for service for what you're going to use. And then Betterment also has a cash account where they offer checking and cash uh, a higher yield cash account. So who is each of them best for? Well, clearly if you're a small new investor and you want investment management, you're going to choose Betterment. For the wealthier investor, this is a more difficult decision. I literally like them both a lot. I think for the premium customers, Betterment's a little more affordable. So that's a, a point on the side of Betterment. But on the other side, personal capital does give you a wider access to a broader range of services. So I'm not gonna give you a weigh-in on the premium personal capital or the premium betterment because they're both really good. And I think it's just a matter, matter of your own preference, which you choose. Fees and minimums, clearly betterments, betterment only has the digital plan for small investors or for an all digital service. So that's where you're gonna go. Personal capitals fees for the premium service are higher. So if that's important to you, well, that can be a decider. They both offer personalized services. You can both get a sense of goals-based investing which, with either platform. Okay, now Betterment does offer some customization. They offer socially responsible investing. They have some custom income portfolios, and you can use a strategy of smart beta investing, which is a way to attempt to beat the returns of a typical um, passive index fund investing portfolio. Performance, you know, everyone asks which performs better. And we have to just jump in this question and be really honest. Depends on the investments held within your personal account, and that's going to depend on your risk tolerance. And it's also going to depend on which way 
which types of investments the market is favoring now. If it's time for growth stocks and you've got a greater allocation to value stocks, then those growth stock portfolio will be growing faster. So I would not base your investment decision on performance. Both of them will pre perform very, very well given the investment markets, and they will perform in accord with the returns of the underlying funds. And as we all know, if you're going to invest in the financial markets, there are going to be some years where your investments might have a losing year. Okay, the free portfolio review, we love that. So let's just wrap it up. Which one should you choose? If you're a small investor, you're just getting started, you're looking for a digital investment advisor, Betterment is your choice. If you, everyone here should sign up for the free tools at Personal Capital. They're free, okay? Then for the premier service, the Betterment Premium versus the Personal Capital Advisors. I'm going to give them an equal ranking. I think they're both really, really solid offers. They both offer a lot, strategies, tax loss harvesting, which is a way to maximize the returns on your taxable account. And I would suggest if you are deciding between the premium versions, I would just really delve in, look at each of the platforms very, very deeply. I would look at our reviews of Betterment and Personal Capital so that you can get a better feel for each of the platforms. And I don't think you can go wrong with either. So thank you so much for listening. Good luck with your investments. We'll have some links below that will get you all set up. If it says affiliate next to it, that means I might get a small commission to help finance this station, but you never have to use the links below. You have related videos. And if you like my channel, please subscribe and like the video. See you next time. Bye.